Hannah. I'm Sophie. And I'm Fiona. And we are Team Botanical Yarn. Morning. Um, you're back. Yes. <laughs> I'm I, so I, glad I, you're back. <laughs> I've been I've been a bit crawly. <laughs> so I'm back. I had a lovely we had a lovely break. Well, we first did. of all, we did Stitch Festival, didn't we? Which was and, amazing. Which was lovely. Um, and we both powered through that. And With then, a little um, bit of a cold virus. Oh yeah, we did sort of have something Purely. there. Yeah. Which I think lots of people that were exhibiting also had something similar. And then um, we had some time off, didn't we? And we had scheduled time off. Yeah. Uh, a break over Easter, which was lovely. You went down and saw your family. I did. It was lovely. And my lovely 16-month-old um, granddaughter shared her virus with me. <laughs> Again, another virus. <laughs> another virus. So I think I was maybe a bit susceptible. And oh, anyway, I'm back today. First day back. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure whether the brain is... Um, quite in gear but so we'll text, go for it you text me and i said how are you i text you and yeah, blah, blah, blah. about what was it seven o'clock or something yeah morning. with a paddle then look at this yeah, yeah and then the i said how are you how are you yeah. like, i'm all right let's, can i come into work and i was yeah. like well let's do a podcast yeah yeah let's she threw that at me so yeah straight in the shower hair's a bit wet beautiful um, but um yeah what are you wearing I'm wearing glittering snowscapes. I haven't tried this on before. It is and beautiful. I'm really loving it. It's so cosy. It's merino sparkle. Yeah. And the sample was knit by Judy. So thank you so much. It's, and it's beautiful. The five skein hydrangea fade. The hydrangea is such a great colour. Color. Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, it is one of our most popular. I really ought to probably... Yeah. I don't want to take it off because it feels so lovely. I a bit warm. <laughs> no, actually, I'm all right so, so it's far. It's huge. This is five skeins, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, look at that. I'm back here. <laughs> but it starts off with the really pale. So yeah, and then fades to the dark. I quite like... I mean, I don't know. You can wear your shawls however you want, obviously, can't you? Um, you know, it's entirely up to you. But for me personally, I quite like the sort of beautiful cash over vibe. <laughs> what do you think? Love it, love it. <laughs> so, but then you see all this like lovely, beautiful. Oh, I've got myself a new dress. It's lovely detail down there. Look at that. Um, um, we don't. Um, Get commission from Marks and Spencers. No, but we're bloody loving it. <laughs> <laughs> we love Marks and Spencers. You can't go wrong with an MS dress. It's Thank beautiful. You. Yeah. And I'm feeling like I love these. This I might have to copy that. Yeah. yeah. We could come in at matching. Yeah, match your dress. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm so wearing. Have, yes, what have you been I'm doing? I'm wearing stripometry. Which you is, finished this? I finished it. Was it over? Was it over Easter? Did you finish? Yes. It? So we went for a lovely break in Teesdale. Oh, lovely! Uh, in the North Yorkshire Dales? No, Yorkshire Dales. Yeah, Yorkshire Dales more. But yes. there was a, de a deadline, a crossover boundary line to North Pennines. Yes. North okay. Yeah. Very beautiful. We stayed in this lovely little cottage. Nice. Um, the only thing, the front door was an old wooden door. Couldn't get out. Why? It was like, because of the weather, oh. it had like expanded with the, and I was stuck. Oh no! <laughs> so that was quite funny. Oh. Um, but yes, well, I finished my stripometry. So this is a new shawl by Stephen West and I love I it. I say, I, that looks amazing on the camera. I love Isn't it lush? this. I cord. Did you do it with the thing? No, I did it with my needle because I didn't have the thing. We're oh, talking okay. about the cordsmith. Yeah, because see, that's the brain. The it's word. not quite, yeah. Not um, quite I didn't right. have it with me, and I was going to do a striped eye cord with the Candy Tuft Umbellata. Oh, okay. And do striped Monada and. Yeah, yeah. But I started doing it and I couldn't be bothered. Well, also, I just think the pink. It's so striking, isn't it? Just frames it so yeah. beautifully, yeah. the Monada. So I used yeah, 12 great. mini skeins, and a bit left over, 12 mini skeins in total. Um, and I've got kits online for it, so yeah. that's we're sending those out today. And this is this is the this is the main colour, yeah. and this is candy tuft umbellata. Yeah, and there's only one got, skein of those, hundred grams. That's only one skein. Yeah, and then twelve minis. Wow, and that's a it's a lovely um, neutral with a slightly pinky yeah. hue, isn't it? Um, Wow, you must be it, so chuffed with that. And I've been knitting. I've actually been knitting. Wow. <laughs> What's come over you, Sophie? I well, I finally had the moment to say I need to do some knitting. Oh, it's lovely. I do like this. I, I just feel like, mm, maybe uh, 
the blue know. version. Maybe I'm going to do one of those. I don't know. It's very re 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 very re re wearable. Yes, it is, isn't it? Like yeah. a little... Because sometimes they're not wearable. Dun, 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 do you know dun. what? I t I'll tell you what I've been wearing. I wore in Margate and down south. So first of all, on Easter Sunday, we had a big family meet-up um, in um, where I come from. My mum still lives in Berkshire. And we had a huge family meet-up with lots of... Um, Sons, daughters, boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, children, you Amazing. know, it was it was really lovely. And it was one of those days where we did spend some time outside, but it was just a little bit chilly. And I had my um, MCAL. Geogradient. Yes, um, which is the blue one. Um, it is here, but I haven't got it with me right here. Um, and um, I wore that all the time. And then suddenly I couldn't find it. And what did I see? It was with my daughter, Eleanor, and her, then her boyfriend had it on. And he looked amazing <laughs> in it. Is. Yes. So that was lovely. It sort of disappeared. And I looked down the garden and um, there's Jack in the MCAL. So that was quite cool. Rocking it. Yes. Really good. Yeah, really good. So I think shawls are great for this time of year, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 100%. So yeah. I have been knitting like... Oh, on my double Surrey test knit. So and your, yeah, your colour, Sophie. More of your colour, almost honestly. I am this in love is, with it. Yeah, this is crazy. This colour is gorgeous. So wow, this is what we've got so far. <gasps> nice. So tell me, did you you didn't do a provisional cast on? Either, no, I don't, I don't like provisional cast on. Mm. Did you? I didn't, so you can see the sleep, but I'm the thinking I should have done. Really? Yeah. Why? I'm now sort of regretting it, but I think it'll be fine because oh, my... So that's the back and that's the front. My my cast on here... Is loose. Yes. And obviously it'll be fine when we pick up for the neck. Yeah. Um, but... It'll bring it all into, into um, you know, it'll bring it all in a little bit, but... I, I think had it's to amazing. Do, redo the, that cast on twice. How oh. difficult was it on the Chowgu doing double Surrey backwards blue cast on? Well, it was slipping. I. Or do you have a tip? No, I actually. So I started off doing a cable cast on. Ah. Uh, pearl wise, because right. you're doing it pearl wise, aren't you? Um, so I did a per, started with that, and I looked at it, and I thought, oh no, I don't like. I don't like. For me personally, I don't particularly like cable cast on because I find it too tight. Yeah. It's obviously the way I do it and I know it's successful for some people, but obviously for me it's perhaps not. So then I change to a backwards loop, but obviously you don't get the same structure, do yeah, you? No. In your in your knitting. So it, it looks a bit sort of baggy. So anyway, I'm yeah, it does look a little bit baggy. Yeah, though, yeah. Compared to the back. I think mine's probably even more baggy than yours. So I pulled it back. Did you? Mine was terribly baggy. And did you redo it? And, and I redid it on a backwards loop cast on really tight. Ah. Uh, but yeah. I could have even done it on a smaller size needle. Yes, you can do, can't that you? That would have worked nicely. Yeah. But I think once we pick up for the neck, yeah. I think it'd be fine. But this is such a beautiful design, isn't so it? So the, the working title... I think it's pink fluff. I think it's going to be called something else. Yeah, yeah. But I just want it pink fluff because this is pink fluff. It is pink fluff, isn't it? Um, yeah. so Surrey alpaca held double. I know, incredible. It's like it's like kittens, isn't it? Oh, amazing! It's like, or baby rabbits. Baby rabbits are eating my flipping roses in the oh, garden. We won't talk about baby Don't rabbits. Don't talk about baby rabbits. <laughs> Every morning I see them, I go, I go out, and they're like. Ah! <laughs> The poor baby rabbits, the little, little baby rabbits. I'm like, ah, get off my roses. Oh, they... I can't believe they eat roses. Yeah. Spikes and everything. They just... No. Yeah, the thorns, they just eat them. They don't. They must not, I don't know, knock them off or something. Wow. That's yeah. hardcore, eating roses. So it's a, te a test knit. <laughs> di yeah, we digress onto baby rabbits. A test rabbits. knit by Kate Oates Designs. Yeah. Um, and I think it's launching soon. So you are also... Oh, look at your lovely little basket. Hold it up, hold it up. Hold so it up. my little... I had to show you my basket because I bought this while I was down with um, my other daughter in um, Gemma in Margate with my grandchildren. And this is made um, by, so a, nice. by a lady called Lydia. 
McQuaskey. Um, oh, someone's arriving. And um, this is her name, and she's. I'm going to keep this label on because oh, I like the adorable. fact that she's made it. Um, I'm just going to pause it one moment because somebody's here. Hope. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> we just had a delivery, um, and Luna was going barmy. Yeah, I can still hear her in the van. She's in the van. So you're knitting a. I'm knitting euphobia colorway. I am, yes. Um, but I'm knitting, or as I say, euphobia. Yeah. Euphobia, euphobia. Which do you say? Um, so I'm. I haven't done so much at Sophie because. So I perhaps ought to hold it up like Beautiful. that. That's the back, and um, and that's my front with my sort of slightly baggy cast on. The neck. Anyway, um, I'm going to do stripes. So this is um, Surrey natural undyed. Yeah. And um, I need to borrow your phone a bit, bit more because um, no, not good because I haven't been um, feeling too well. I needed to figure out where my stripes were going to be, and I just didn't have the headspace. So I paused because I wasn't. I was trying to decide whether I. Let me just take this off for a second. Yeah. So if I have my my neck sort of coming down here, I could have this whole sort of top section as a stripe. As the this colour, euphoria, yeah. sort of in this top section, and then start with the stripes. A little bit like because she does tell you the stripe pattern in the A little bit like oh actually no. Sorry. I was going to say a little bit like this, but I, I meant a little bit deeper. Yeah. Um, with the raglan, another consideration, which I'm sort of thinking about at the same time. With the raglan, you get um, the stripe over the sleeve goes like this. So it goes across the body and then it goes up. Yeah, because of the way the raglan is. Now, there is a way of figuring that out if you wanted it just directly straight across. Ah. And I needed a bit of headspace to decide what I was going to do. And I still haven't decided. So Sophie and I will be chatting today. But um, it will be really interesting to hear your thoughts, won't it? Yeah. What, um, but this is the idea. So oh, <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. It's way over there. But anyway, it's going to be stripes, which I'm loving this colour. I think this is a very beautiful, you know, oh, doesn't it look like a black? Yeah, lush. And it really it looks really good with navy as well, I think, this colour. Really nice. So, yes. Oh, so I'm a car. Go oh, no, they're going up. <laughs> as, usual. <laughs> as usual. As usual. Totally busy here for a, a quiet rural village. Here we are. What we like. <laughs> what we like. So um, you've been concentrating, obviously, just on your two things, have you? Yeah, so stripometry is finished and my... Pink fluff. Yes, and I've also started another test net. Of course you have. Oh, my goodness. This was the lady that wasn't going to do any test nets. It's just addictive, though. You just get and it's like, you just have to do it. You just... Isn't it? So what, what test net have you started? It's a Stephen West. Of course. Of course. And it's beautiful. It's Is like, it a shawl? Yeah, shawl. Okay. Uh, fingering weight. Yeah, not going to say anymore. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, so that'll be exciting. Yeah. What have you been knitting on? Well, obviously I haven't been very well, but I have been knitting and I've been mending as well. <gasps> but I should and you've been on grandma first. duty. And yes, I have been on grandma duty. <gasps> so and. Um, so this is my beautiful Wood Anemone by um, Sorry, Nordland. Sorry Nordland. That is beautiful. So um, for this, I wanted to put in a bust start again. Yes. So I've done bust starts before. Sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. Let me just show you a picture of the pattern. So this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's lovely. I've, I've had it in my queue for well since it came out and i like the combination i like the combination of the yarn with the mohair so it's knitted with oh, two yarns held together which i've obviously got um i think i'm gonna get mohair in my mouth <laughs> so it's mohair mouth it's knitted with um anemone blander yeah anemone blander and the mohair 
both the same colour, but obviously the mohair just takes up the dye differently, doesn't it? I added extra dye for yours. Oh, so did you? You okay. said, can I have extra dye on the mohair? mohair. Yeah. Um, so I did it slightly darker for you. And I quite like the fact that they're sort of slightly different because I think it gives really the nice. fabric a, a certain amount of depth. Yeah, another dimension. Um, so... What I've what I've done is I obviously I finished the body and I picked up and knit one of the sleeves because I wanted to just figure out how how the where the bust up was gonna sit and you can't do that until you've knit a little bit of the sleeve. So I've I've bobbed about a bit. Um so the sleeve knitting a little bit of it puts the underarm in the right place and then I measure sort of to the point of my fullest Nipples bust yes <laughs> and then i've done bust starts which I bet... always lower in the tone yeah she is isn't she i'm just <laughs> ignoring her can't you tell i'm only back a few minutes and here we go so oh, my... yeah, I see. can you see it yeah this only, is only because you pointed it out only just so it and provides will you upload notes to your ravelry oh god yes <laughs> i will do i promise your I've homework been tonight. Yeah, I've been. Oh, I'm really bad at Ravelry. Well, we should have a session, a Rav session. We should. We should. And just um, get things uploaded and. Absolutely. Um, That'll help. And because uh, I, th I think it's worth it. And the the thing I also want to do is make a you know make a progress book you know of um, my projects with my the yarn and everything else. And I used to do it, and obviously, I've. Well, Lime has just emailed this morning of a new, their new magazine's coming out in May. Okay. And they're also doing new knitting notes. Uh, the knitting notes are perfect yeah. for this. So they're doing it in a, this colour. Oh, wow. A lemony, a lemony green and a burgundy. So oh, the new nice. one's a lemony burgundy. So pre-orders will be opening soon. That will be really lovely, yeah. won't it? A lovely spring colour for yeah. your knitting notes. And just to... Because if you're not, if you're a bit like me and not so good with Ravelry or get, you know, it's just, it's not that I can't do it. It's just the kind urge to do it. Yeah. Whereas writing it in a book, maybe, maybe that's a bit better. Or you could write it in a traveller's notebook. You, you could. Have. You Look could. Look at these. Good segue. Good segue. So these have just arrived yesterday. I shrieked when they arrived. So yeah, these are the yeah. new edition, the Tokyo edition, limited edition traveller's notebook. And... I haven't unboxed yet, but I will be doing an unboxing video for Ooh, nice. our subscribers, our members later. And they've got lovely inserts. Lovely. They've got Ooh, bits and bobs. Stickers. Nice. Out front of a. And a brass pencil. And there was something else, but it's just a good oh. charm. Anyhow, oh. so the new Traveller's Notebook is on the website now. Yeah, um, that's really lovely. pre order, which is beautiful. So that's another. I keep meaning to say, I'm going to do a, a video about my knitting journal. Oh, yes, yes. But I've actually right. got like four pages in it, so it's a bit embarrassing. That I, need to I know, this is it. it. We have lots of plans. We have lots of plans. Lots of plans. And we need to figure out that time window to do it. Yeah. I actually found a little time window. Look what I finished. It is so adorable. So this was the um, Can you needle case. as well, please? Oh. <laughs> needle case uh, we went on a workshop yeah uh didn't we sophie um claire from unwrapped yarn and myself we went on a lovely little road trip um which featured um a workshop and we made this it's sewing adorable. applique um little needle slip and mine has um i love I've made a little, little pocket, pocket and i've put a little bit of applique here and then I've just put some needles in to sort of like show what it's for and a couple of pins so Beautiful. this this takes me back this fabric because this is flannelette do you not remember I no. wasn't alive no, <laughs> uh, wait, okay. there's me 60 and Sophie's in her 30s I mean honestly but my my remember my nana having 90s of this wasn't it sweaty though no, because, well, it's cotton. Oh, right. So you'd have it because they were 90s all the time. Oh. They didn't wear pyjamas, did yeah. they? It was 90s, so you wore, wore that in the winter. And there was no heating, no. remember? Um, no, <laughs> Not you the know. 1800s. <laughs> well, we didn't have heat. I didn't have heating when I grew up. 
we had like little blow blow things downstairs but no heating upstairs so oh i've just so Gorgeous. enjoyed and i did little flowers here it's beautiful i'm so chuffed with that the other thing i had to do was some mending so, oh the little bubble cardigan so the little bubble cardigan oh. which i knit for my granddaughter um this has had so much wear Gemma said and it looks amazing really good so it's been in the washing machine it's a tiny bit bobbly you can probably bubble see on that bubble bobbly on bobbly <laughs> um but the the thing was um she'd pulled the top button you know when to toddlers they just want to get the thing off and they she pulled it and she'd made the buttonhole um tear yeah. a little bit so i've repaired the buttonhole so it's now going to be shipped back Aww. to alba little baby girly Aww. so what a so cutie cute. um the other thing that was really interesting and again i'm not i don't do ravelry that much um, I look at the patterns, I look at the hot right now, but I don't really do too much more. But I had managed to look and saw I had a message in my inbox. And a lovely lady who had watched the podcast had asked about my Tolster tea. Lovely. So I have replied um, and she asked about the lace that I put on the bottom. So my Tolster tea was pretty much knit to pattern apart from I wanted to put lace on the bottom. Well, maybe I'll just beautiful yeah so just um just a simple lace so this was the this is the Tolster tea by um Rebecca Clo the Crea Bayer and then um I combined it with the lace from this pattern how salmon how... salmon sat seven I'm so glad you didn't pronounce that yeah by Elizabeth judith elizabeth judith it's lovely so it's just got a small piece of lace on the bottom and i used that um and it pretty much combined i think there was a little bit of jiggling with numbers but so very um, nice i have now written this in my ravelry <laughs> <laughs> just mm. so that you know just saying just saying and then do you want more yeah obviously <gasps> So, I've been swatching. What the bilio is that? That colour is ace. So, I've been swatching because um, I watched a podcast and, oh, it was amazing. And to be honest, I haven't had time to look and see what the podcast was, but it was the latest one from Caddy Jacks. No, Caddy and Caddy Jackson Rose. She was Caddy Jacks Knits, but she's now Jackson Rose where she's interviewed a lady and they've talked about their hero knits. Anyway, one of them is, it's called the Paloma. It's a free pattern. Oh, it's a, it's Bas Trico. It is. Yeah. Yes. And in my stash, I'm always trying to, here we go, di diving deep here again. <gasps> oh. In my stash, I've had this from Woolly Knit for ages. Lovely colour. And I've had this from Rowan, which is Kid Silk Haze. That is lovely. And look, at, it looks like a peacock feather. Do you not think? Yeah, it's beautiful. So. The back's lovely as well. The light. It really, really is. I think I've changed. Yeah. On oh, the back, I think I've dropped a look. I've oh my goodness. Dropped a mohair stitch there. So, um, I don't know. Something I think might happen with these two. Yeah, nice. I've wanted to do one. I thought of knitting one for mum for her birthday or some, something but I'm terrible at gift knitting, so. Yeah, she talk, we, they talk about that actually on the podcast. It's really knitting, interesting. Yeah. It's all about, yeah, I feel like um, as knitters, I think we we knit for ourselves. We knit for our, yeah. for our pleasure, don't we? We knit for our creativity. And um, I mean, I love knitting for Alba, but that's just, it's just a process knit for me. It's just like, right, bash, bash these, I've done a few cardigans for her while I've been away. Um, I managed to, to knit two while I was away because it was, Nora. it was easy knitting and yeah. it's so quick. Um, and anyway, you know, that's just bashing it out, process knitting. But actually when you're knitting for yourself, 
there's so much more creativity yeah the customization and the yeah and um you you really dial into that whole like oh this is going to be this i'm going to wear it and it's going to make me feel like this and i'm going to look like this i'm going to wear it with blah de blah and yeah. you get that whole vibe don't you 100 percent. and um it's a really interesting podcast to listen to so anyway that's on the cards and i spy something in your hohinko oh yeah i have a decision to make so yeah. we need your help yeah we need your help um, I might not. Oh, I've got. See, I've, I've been off, and honestly, how much talking am I doing? <laughs> Dear me. So, this is. Guess what this is coming out <laughs> I of the bag. I love it. I know, me too. I love it. Right. I'd quite like some fish now, actually. This is my halibut. Oh, it's beautiful. And I've, I have knit down to, to the body, but it's not right. The what do yolk you mean? is not right. Is it puffy? It's not this bit, so I I went down, and it's a smaller size, but it's still the yolk is too deep, and I'm for me it's going to be more like a swancho. Yeah. If you want to pause, I can put it on. If you want to pause the thing, yeah. and I'll put it on, and we can show That's you the technology that. Uh, you just pause that there. Right. A bit of slight break there for Fiona to do a wardrobe change. <laughs> wardrobe change. Right, this is my this is my halibut. It's beautiful. It but, is absolutely beautiful. But no. can you see? <laughs> this is my <laughs> this is my issue. <laughs> when I do this, look, does this no, is this that's too you, much? No, that's you. That's absolutely you. What being fussy? Yeah. It's glorious. What do, really? It's glorious. It is absolutely glorious. Your first version was too big. Yes. But this is glorious. Are you sure? Yeah. Do I keep on with it? You please because do. Because yes. it's it's been it's been in see, I, I feel like there's too nope. much fabric here. Look. I understand what you're saying, but it doesn't look Are you sure? Promise. What do you all think? Yes. What do you all think? Comment is it, below. Is it a keep or do I frog? Do you definitely do not frog? Because you've already frogged once. I have. I, I ripped the whole lot out. Nutter. See, look here, here. Does this? Well, what what would you do with the yarn instead? Would you wear it? Look, you're not going to wear is it, this... are you? I don't know. See, this is it. <laughs> look. Would you like a, a clip? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can have to take a, a picture of this. <laughs> Go on, show us your clip. A, a pleat in the middle. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, Am I just glorious. being too fussy? I think it's absolutely glorious. Okay. Why don't you make it into a swancho then? <laughs> you can see I'm not convinced. You're not um, going to wear it, are you? I don't know. I think maybe what I've got to do is what I did last time and what I've done with um, my woodland wood anemone sorry is put some sleeve on i've got to put some sleeve on haven't i yeah really so um but you could wear it as a bed jacket <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <coughs> so oh, i don't know sally and the bed that story yeah, have we sally have and we the bed jacket i don't know that we've told oh fiona my pulled goodness. out her whip of her natural fluff tolster in Wool and Folk colourway, yes. And Sally went, oh, a bed jacket? It looks like one of those bed jackets <laughs> on Fulton Towers. And the other was like, oh, it did. That's <laughs> what she said. It was like, she sent the yes, gift as well, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, oh, it was dear so Sally. funny. Oh, so funny. Dear Sally. There's yeah. no filter. No, no filter. But she has made some beautiful bags. She has. And they, oh, these are, whoa. Look, look at the this. bugs as well. I like that one with the bugs. I really like it as well. And it's oh got some lovely goodness. butterflies. Look at this. I know, it's like a big beetle. It's got a, little, a beetle. Were you going to oh. say a technical name for that beetle though? No, I wasn't, no. <laughs> I don't know any beetle technical names. <laughs> oh, ladybird. Yeah, I know that one. Oh. Butterfly. Yeah. So, um, we're having a shop update this Saturday. Nice. What date's this Saturday? 13th? I have no idea what the date is today. Also going to the Open Studios, York Artist Open Studios. Oh. Mum saw the... Um, nice. 
Sorry, mate. It's all right. We're very, we're very uh, touchy feely today with our knees. Oh, missed you so much. <laughs> um, but yes, York opens artist studios, so all over York oh. city centre this weekend. I think another weekend. So it looks some really nice stuff. Ooh. There's a painter that I like in Weldrake that I'm going to see. It does some beautiful paintings. Lovely. Starting at about £1,800, so I will not be purchasing. Wow. Maybe a postcard. <laughs> postcard or a print, yeah. yeah. So That's this Saturday, 6pm BST, we will be launching these new project bags. Nice. So this is our classic, oh, some padding in there. Mm. Classic style, the midi. It has pockets. It is glorious. Great shape. Beautiful Great shape. size. Whole We've sweater. all got one with yeah. these. Yes. Yeah. So there's this new design. Yeah. There is this beautiful fabric, oh, which I absolutely so love pretty. as well. Very delicate. Isn't it glorious? With a ballet pink. Yeah. Yeah. Adorable. Really nice. No bugs on that one. No. <laughs> Three ninety bugs. And then lastly, nice. a vintage. I love this combination of like the yeah, I like rust that. with the pink. pink. Yeah. And then yeah. pink handles and then the drawstring and pockets so these Very three nice. bags will be launching on saturday lovely and also dying a new colorway sorry I've got no <laughs> ever so lady like <laughs> is it gone possible yeah um what also we have got now got in stock are the amazing like how would you say it Lika. yeah like no, like, say like like yeah but it probably is wrong. Um, so we have the crochet pink. Look at those. The blush crochet hooks and the interchangeable needle sets. Nice. So they're available on the website. And there's a multicoloured version, which is oh. on its way. It's currently out of stock, but it's on its way. These are amazing. Beautiful, aren't they? Um, so, of course, those. I had to have those with the pink. Of course. Um, so they have arrived. Um, and we're so close to 2,000 subscribers, yes. which is ace. Um, Mike takes the mick out of me and my partner because he watches this guy in a very lovely way. He he takes the mick, not not that he's being nasty or anything. Okay. It's affection. Um, Are you sure? Yeah, one hundred percent. There's a guy that Mike watches on YouTube called Rick Shields. Okay, I've probably never heard of him. He's a golf no. YouTuber. And oh, definitely not heard. He of him. has like millions and millions of followers, and he's like, "All right, Rick," and I'm like, "Stop it!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So long story short, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Yeah. So we're going to do a giveaway to help us get to 2,000 subscribers, hopefully. So what you need to do, we're doing a giveaway to, you need to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. So click subscribe. And then you need to comment below um, what you would use your voucher for. So Ooh. we are giving away £100 botanical yarn gift voucher i mean honestly that's amazing isn't it's it it's a real treat so yes. you could do a sweater yeah, quantity yes. to make your an enemy yeah you could treat yourself to a project bag or two yeah the stripometry yes. shawl kit yes yeah all sorts all like sorts. needles yes the only thing i'd say is not valid with advent calendars okay yeah fair enough yeah so you can't use the gift card on a real advent calendar yeah but apart from that it's yours to Nothing. use oh got a bit windy here we've got the door open um yeah. it's yours to use as you please well that's a that's a terrific prize i mean so please lovely. subscribe to our channel and comment below what you would like to spend your gift voucher on yeah so yes lovely that's all so our next show is knit city toronto yeah I'm very excited and i i'm gonna go in sophie's suitcase <laughs> i've already decided <laughs> and i don't think you'll fit with all the yarn no I'm afraid, but I wish I could bring you with you. With so there is a box next to me that is currently empty, and it says Knit City Toronto. Yay! <laughs> because that is where I'm going to start siphoning. Oh, the yarn off. off. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So every time I dye something, it's going to be siphoned off for the Knit City. So that's in May. So I'm so excited about that. Yeah, that's a it's a yeah really exciting trip, isn't it? Yes. Really, really great. I'm really looking really forward good to it. Fun. So, yes, our shop update will be this Saturday, 13th of April. I hope I've got that date right. At 6pm BST. Mm -hmm. And I will be sharing the new colourway on Instagram soon. Um, once Have I've had... you decided? No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Thursday Did you see my photo? Yeah, I was so impressed that you managed to upload a, reel, a photo to her. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> 
had a bit of inspiration. I knew what I wanted to choose and I thought, mm, maybe I should do a photo of it. And Clever. I did it. Yeah. So I shared a, a story to the Instagram subscribers and to YouTube members to say, what should my new colourway be for the show? And you sent this beautiful picture in reply to the question, yes, yes. which was very clever, of a beautiful tulip. Yes, gorgeous. Yes. It was a really lovely tulip, and I feel like we've got some beautiful tulips around at the moment, yeah. haven't we? Really glorious. So, um, yeah, watch yeah. this space. Yeah. yeah. So Saturday, see what uh, I come up with in the dye pans. Exciting. So thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe and enter our giveaway. And we hope yeah. to see you soon. I'll get on with my halibut now. <laughs> <laughs> it looks glorious. Glorious, glorious. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.